And so, on a warm and sticky night, and 24 hours after it was scheduled, this fight takes place in this Spanish bull ring. Under the stars, and Hannigan comes to work to defend his world title for the third time against Gene Mad Dog Hatcher of the United States. A man who only knows how to come forward. And Hatcher does indeed come forward and they clash head on as we thought they would. Jean Desvert, the Belgian referee, clearly in no mood to stand any nonsense early on. Well, everybody knows that Hatcher is the sort of fighter who comes to fight, but he's over. The first punch, Hannigan thrown, and Hatcher's all over the shop, and he may not get much further. What an amazing start. This man, Hannigan, is really turning on the works as world champion. And if Hatcher survives this, it's a miracle. He's gone. He's absolutely out on the ropes. It's finished. There is no further fight. It's all over in about a half a minute. And Hatcher isn't up yet. Hannigan, in the Spanish bull ring, has applied the sword in the most dramatic way to Gene Hatcher. And that is not a good sign. Hatcher is not up yet. That is the most astonishing world championship win in years. And it's been done by a British champion, Lloyd Hannigan, 27 years old, in his 31st fight, and that's his 31st win. And there haven't been many more dramatic world title wins than that. Paul Marks Hannigan, for one, one feels disturbed for the welfare of 28-year-old Gene Hatcher, his father bending over his head. His father is his trainer. Mad scenes around Hannigan 